How many guys did you have sex with? 56. She belongs to the streets. I'm all about being independent, not, you know, relying on men for anything. But fire is really important. And the way that they had their camp set up, they have an area to put wood to keep dry. They have all the things they need to cook food. They keep their fire going because it's right by their bed. I mean, they just have a really good system going for them, and we don't. You get to, to see the differences. Um, I'm being quite careful not to make it sort of a battle of the sexes and let people draw their own conclusions. It sucks that, that we need the boys for some things. Um, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, there's things that we really need from them, and I hate that it's always like a bargain. Well, what can we get from you? And it's just so annoying. I don't know what their mentality is. Every time they ask for something, they act like they deserve it, and uh, they they make it sound like we are uh, taking more from them than they are from us, which is completely ludicrous. So. Um, every time we turn around, they're wanting something. In a quid pro quo situation, someone in a position of power demands sexual favors in exchange for job benefits. You just want just a minute of warmth, and then you can just struggle through it. And when the boys said that they didn't want us around standing around their fire anymore. Unless sexual favors are given, there will be a loss of job benefits. We had so many people writing in saying, you've got to do a women's version. And, you know, I thought, hallelujah, brilliant. You know, this is what we really want to do. We've been crapped on since we've been here. We got zero sleep last night. We stayed up the entire night, froze, soaking wet. And we haven't had fire because it rained and put it out, so now we haven't eaten. We're sorry, buddy. It's about heart and character and, you know, determination. And that's not, you know, that's not just a domain of a woman or a man. I can't be cold one more second. I was thankful last night that we stuck to our guns a little bit after tribal and, and didn't run over and jump in the men's shelter. But going over there this morning, I have no shame. <laughs> I've never been so miserable. I couldn't get my tail over there to that fire fast enough. Come on, yes, come on, guys. Lady. This is a very high fall. Make sure you keep your arms to your chest and land on your back. Yeah, Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill Johnson, Jonas Johnson. Let's go, 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 with a serious injury holding that wrist. Hard, 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 hard. Come on! Courtney, are you okay? Uh, I'm really dizzy, I'm really dizzy. I don't think I can be on All right, everybody, hold up! Okay, so it's unclear right now what it is for sure. Mm -hmm. Until you x-ray, you won't know. Yeah. Which means we're not sure her status in the game at this point. So why don't you take her out of here? All right, men, no tribal council tonight. Grab your stuff, head back to camp. Women, I'll see you tonight at tribal. Yeah. Those guys don't give a crap about any of us girls, and it showed it today. They don't care. Yeah. <laughs> We're not letting those muscles discourage us at all. All right, let's load up nice. the stuff, guys. Girls, if we all just keep our head in the game and try to stay, you know, together and just take the boys down, then we'll just be one huge ball of badassness. 2,000 years later. This season's battle of the sexes hasn't been a battle at all. The men's tribe has won every challenge. Go, 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 go. Badassness. Words are words, but actions are actions. Image or clothes or makeup, whatever our sort of stuff is, you know what? It's not what we are. 
You know, what we are is beyond all of them. Chelsea and I needed to wash our hair with fresh water so we can look shiny and clean. What people look like, it matters. You know, there's like lots of studies that have been done on that. So we thought if we put fresh water in our hair, our chances go up, up, up. The reality is, if you're real masculine, a number of women today are offended by that. Just the bare presence of pure, unadulterated, Manliness infuriates some women today. When it ought to charm them. You know what? I, I said what I said. If you don't understand the logic or if you don't agree with the logic, no, no, no. go ahead and do whatever you want. No, no, no. I'm just trying to make sure I heard you correctly. Does it matter the order? Damn it. Shut up for a minute. I'm not in a good mood. Just shut up. Relax, man. Right no, there. you can relax on it. It'll be okay. We uh, started working on our shelter, and uh, lo and behold, as always, some of the girls came over and were like, can we borrow an amber from our fire? They didn't have fire. Um, so I don't think any of the girls want to stand over there. It's uncomfortable mooching off of them. I mean, they're all like, excuse me, move, move. I literally just wanted somebody to punch me so I can here. be knocked out last night. Talking about, well, we haven't been uh, warm all night, blah, blah, blah. We're soaking wet. We're cold. We're freezing. So the guys have just, I guess, had to get this mindset like, no more deals. It's off. Like, you know, this is a game. We want to be nice, but again, we're playing for a million bucks. Like, screw these girls. I went out crab hunting this morning and came back and found six or eight of the girls in our in our shelter underneath our stuff, sitting on our beds, you know, soaking wet, you know, sitting by our fire. I need to borrow your car right quick. What kind of shit is that? You want to borrow my car? Hell no! The worst thing in the world to me is being wet and cold. And it's been like that for a long time. Crying is a waste of water. <laughs> Everyone's different, you know, I mean, the women gets really quite feral and shocking, actually, in a way that I'd never anticipated. Put this back in the sea, shall we? Should we put this back in the sea? Erica starts throwing away some of the group's firewood. She's lost her mind. Don't put this back in the sea. It's just bizarre. What is going on? She's now going to push some wood in the sea. Fucking sorry. One of the women on the island, which was, um, <laughs> she goes, I can't afford to cry anymore, it's dehydrating me. <laughs> I feel such a dick. Why? You're my hero. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jack. However determined the others can't do it. We are a team here, aren't we? Apart from Jane. You know what? We're de dealing with hormonal irrational women right now it, it's not even worth trying to negotiate and at this point i'm done every time we caught a fish it was like a big hurrah like we you know we know we can do something that the boys have been doing every day stab a crocodile gut it and then carry it out of the jungle with the glass ceiling broken all the oppressed groups shall prosper so me and troy go over to the women's tribe and we propose that they let us use the net because they obviously don't know how to use the net. So they go over, we, we, me and Troy go over and we say, listen, if you let us use the net, we'll give you 50% of whatever we catch. I'm just like, 50 fish, that's enough. Everybody can have two, three fish each in both tribes. So um, Jonas doesn't, ha he doesn't have a suave way about asking things. What we want to do now, we're not pushing the issue. What we're going to do is just let them fumble around for a few more days and not get, catch fish. And they'll come back. And when they come back, the deal's different. It's not 50-50 anymore because they're coming back to us. The deal's more like... Uh, is that all? <laughs> what do you mean, is that all? What the hell, you want a hand job? Every day our number one priority is shelter and we're so 
overworking on our shelter and it's still just, it's not, we got rained on all night last night. It's like every time we go to bed, we dread it because we know we're just going to be sitting there miserable, soaking wet and cold until the sun comes up. Girls uh, came back over today. Um, they were they, they were absolutely freezing. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't stop thinking about them last night because I just knew that they were absolutely freezing to death. And then they come over in the morning and and they're absolutely frozen to death. And it just it. It, 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 it pisses me off and I just, it's just not right. And that was just, I mean, outright wrong. You shouldn't, you just shouldn't do that. Because I want to help them as, as much as I can because that's what it is, is being a man. That's, 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 that's what is being a gentleman. That's what is, 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 is being chivalrous. Why the hell would you ever align with a bunch of girls? But I think that's kind of a man thing to do where we're really kind of like thinking it through like like systematically. What